In addition to UFC on Fox, there was also a really big Brazilian Jiu Jitsu event out in uh, California. It was the ADCC West Coast Trials. It was headlined by four super fights featuring some of the biggest names in the game, but they also had um, a few different brackets for people to have a chance to qualify for ADCC. So just going top to bottom on the super fights, the main event was Bouchesha versus um, Rafael Ovato Jr. A uh, really interesting matchup between the two of them. Bouchesha is a guy who he help, he trains out at AKA. Um, he's a checkmat guy. Um, he had a super fight with Hodger Gracie at, at Metamorris at a time. Uh, he beat Hodger. Well, I think it ended up being a draw, but if it was scored on points, Bouchesha outgrappled him during that match. So he's top of the food chain. He went against uh, Rafael Lovato Jr., who is now in Bellator. Also another guy who's top of the food chain, but he's a little, a little smaller of a guy. And Bouchesha won that match. Uh, they also had Leandro Lowe, who was scheduled to fight against Braulio Estima. And during warm-ups, Estima got injured. Uh, surprisingly, with him being injured, you'd figure that match is completely dead. Uh, but the guy who stepped in is is no slouch himself. Gordon Ryan actually had volunteered to step in on just absolute last-second notice and put on a heck of a match between him and Leandro Lowe. Uh, apparently, he had said afterwards that he was kind of confused by the scoring system. There was a point in the match where he was actually up because of like the negative point scoring system they had, and he would have grappled differently. Either way, it was still a good match between the two of them, and Leandro Lowe got the win 4 nothing. But great showing for Gordon Ryan. Um, there was Cyborg Abreu versus Vinny Magalhaes. Uh, Cyborg won that match on points as well. And then in the other super fight, Bruno Frazado beat Gio Martinez, and he won that on points as well. So a lot of times when you have the top jiu-jitsu guys going at it between each other, the finishes aren't always so easy to come by. And in this case, none of them were able to get a finish against each other. But again, it's these are some of the top guys in the world, and the matches themselves are very entertaining. At 99 plus kilograms, uh, the champion was Casey Hellenberg. Um, second place, her silver medal went to Jessica Ray Children, and third place went to Travis Clark. At 99, Paul Ardilla won first place. Nick Schrock finished second with silver medal, and Colin Hart finished third. At 88 kilograms, this is an interesting one for MMA. John Salter, who is, you may remember, was a UFC veteran. I believe at the time he was in the UFC, he was a purple belt. Uh, now he is fighting with Bellator. I think he fought with World Tier as a fighting as well. But he should be next in line for a title shot now with Carvalho beating Melvin Manhoof and Bellator. He won his division at 88 kilograms, and in doing so, he beat a couple of world champions on his way there, uh, including DJ Jackson, who finished second, and Josh Hinger, who has been just go-go plotting everybody on the regional scene. He went through uh, the Chicago Open, for example, and just was just hitting go-go plotters on black belts left and right. Uh, really impressive. He's a world champ on his own right, but Salter was able to get by him and g got himself a first place finish and a trip to Abu Dhabi. At 77 kilograms, Wagner Hosha and AJ Agazarm ended up having a rematch of what was one of the more ridiculous recent Brazilian Jiu Jitsu super fights where Agazarm's a guy who just goes way overboard in the shit talking and not in the way where he's like getting too personal, but in the way where it's like it's obvious that he's trying to like do it to draw fans and it's kind of cringe worthy when he does it, but he just gets under a lot of guys skin in the jujitsu community. And Wagner's one of those guys. And when they had a match of fight to win, Wagner actually just like front kicked him off of the platform that they were grappling on and like into like a table. So they had a rematch here. Wagner got the victory. So AJ finished second and John Satava had the bronze medal at 66 kilograms. Um, Ethan Krellenstein or Krellenstein won that round or he won that, um, division. Uh, second place was Ricky Lulu and somewhat surprisingly, although not really surprisingly, you, you might say Nikki Ryan finished third. Uh, if it's surprising, it'd be that Nikki Ryan is still a teenager. I believe he's still going to high school. So for someone at his age to be doing so well, meddling at a big event at black belt, uh, shows a lot, there's a lot that, that he can do in this sport moving forward. And if he wants to get an MMA too, I mean, he's already got a fantastic Brazilian Jiu Jitsu base and a fantastic pedigree. So he's got a lot of upside and a lot of potential. There were only two divisions uh, for the woman. There was a 60 kilogram and above, and then there was under 60 and it was just 60 kilograms. So it's 60 or under uh, for the 60 plus Tara white finished first, Kendall Roosing finished second and Michelle Dunches finished third. Uh, for 60 kilograms, this was another one that was kind of surprising where a young competitor just overperformed. 
Elizabeth Clay, who I believe is from Alaska. She's also a blue belt. Ended up winning this division, beating Nicole Sullivan in the finals. Nicole is a purple belt from Indiana from the Midwest. I've actually had a chance to train with her since I'm out of the Midwest. She's very good. So for someone like Elizabeth Clay, a, a blue belt to beat her, that, that says a lot. And it'll be interesting to see where she goes from here and kind of how she can work her way on onto the scene. And then Heather Raftery finished third in that division. Mm-hmm. 